Hi, my name is Hasid Parmar, and today we're going to go through a Spectrum silent install, 21.2.4. So a lot of the stuff that we're going to do is going to be based off of the, the silent install that's all documented. So if you go to this website or SR admin install, we will, or just like our fresh install, um, you'll see we have the SR admin, you know, installation methods. And what we do is we install SR admin first, and then we're going to do the Spectrum install. So with that, I've kind of taken the liberty of cheating a little, and then I have got some of our files kind of prepped. So this is a silent install. These are the, the requirements that we'll need. So here you know I've got the server name. I've got the landscape handle. Um, our install owner is going to be Spectrum. Um, we're not going to install the SRM or any of that kind of stuff. And then username, password, Spectrum. One thing to note for Tomcat is we can't have port 80. So it's got to be 8080 or 8088 or any, any 8443, anything above um, port 80. We are also going to be creating like a, like a server password file for our silent install. And here I've got the server name, the root username, and then the root password. So in addition to that, I've actually got, um, so that's that. When we install our SR admin, we have these kind of silent install files. Again, all of these are documented in the installation or here, right here, right? So here's kind of some of the properties files. Um, you'll note that in our situation, I've actually created a temp directory. So we're gonna be installing everything in temp slash software. Um, and then with any kind of install, if it's a fresh install or whatnot, um, I've already created a, like a little script to install all the, the modules and like, you know, any kind of components that might be missing. So we're going to start with the, the installing the module consoles uh, components. Then we're going to install SR admin and then we'll actually install Spectrum. So let me go to my Linux box. This is just a standard Linux CentOS 7 Xbox. All right, so I'm going like, so I, I moved everything into our temp directory. So as part of this, let me do a, like a tar to unzip any files, minus XVF. And then we've got our NetOps. So what I'm installing here is the NetOps 21.2.4. And what you'll see is we'll kind of un uninstall everything here into that directory. So now I'm going to do just do an LS and you can see here, we've got Spectrum kind of uninstalled here. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create like this prerequisites file. I was going to call it Spectrum Req.sh. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all of this and I will just kind of copy it and then um, paste it in here. Again, now here I'm just using VI, just a standard editor. I just want to make sure I've kind of got everything. And then here is sometimes those kind of sometimes these things will cut out. Now, for me to actually run this, I'll need to make this an executable. So I'm going to do um, CSMLD. D, and then I'm just going to run it, and then let's kind of get some of these updates kind of as needed. Now that that this is done, we can actually start working on the SR admin. So we already unzipped those files. So what we're going to go to is I'm in the temp directory. We're going to go into SDIC. Uh, we'll do an LS here. And then we're going to go into Linux. I'll do an LS here. And what you can see is you can kind of see where our uh, some of our installers are. Um, we are going to create a silent installer. Now here is that file that we're going to need. In our instance, though, we're not going to use this right We're going to use that temp. So I'm going to quickly VI. Uh, and I'll just call it SR admin underscore properties. And then I'll just create the file. Um, and now we can kind of see this will match what we have here only with the correct directory. I'm going to save that off. And then the command to actually do the silent install is going to be here again. It's the same thing here. Um, SR install bin, and then we're going to do a silent install. There it goes, so that is just completed. 
So next, we're going to work on the actual Spectrum Silent Install. Again, if we go over here, you can see that we're going to do a silent install again. We have all of these HDI file parameters, the host information kind of configuration files, um, that I've kind of taken the liberty of going through. And then we've also got like a password file, which we're going to create. So again, in our instance, here is that Spectrum file where I've got the host name, the landscape handle, kind of some of these things. Here is our server password file. And the SDIC directory is the one that's going to have our actual install file for Spectrum that we'll need. What we need to do now is create that host information file. So I'm going to VI, I'll just call it HII for right now. And then in our instance, here is that file. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. And again, I just want to kind of confirm that what we're going through here is some of the exact same things here where we've got the, the remote host, the landscape handle, the install directory, kind of all of those things. I'm going to change that, I'm going to save that. And then I'm also going to create the um, server password file, which is required. Now that we have both of those files created, we are ready to do a silent install. So before we do that, we can just do a quick test. So we can do DIC Linux um, minus H, and then we're going to use that host configuration file, minus P, and then we're going to use the server password file. And then we can use the test to just kind of flag it to see, hey, is everything going to work? Um, expiring remote host equals. So that means that I've made an error on my host configuration file. So let's just take a look at that. All of that looks good. When I um, made that host configuration file, I actually had an error. It's supposed to be remote host, but when I cut that off, um, I just put host. So we need to do a remote. Uh, let me just make sure that it went through. There it did. It went through, and what we can do is you can definitely see it's right there. So now I'm going to run that same kind of validate command one more time just to make sure things are going to work. Um, and then it's starting the test. Test complete. So now when I want to do the install, you can run that same command um, just without the test. And then you need to go and you've got to scroll through the license agreements. And then we'll start the install. So we have officially installed Spectrum.